There are new worries this morning after lethal plutonium was discovered in the soil near the crippled plant. Neil Karlinski is live in Tokyo with the latest. Neil. George, they are worried about plutonium samples you mentioned that have been found in and around the reactors. Also, highly radioactive water that continues to leak out of there. The people most at risk are those who live near these reactors, people who have refused to leave their homes despite calls to evacuate. It is a roadblock few have dared to cross. The sign says danger, and it is the edge of the restricted zone, just 20 kilometers or about 12 miles from the nuclear plant. A Japanese team has ventured in to check on whether anyone has refused to evacuate. They find a rice farmer, Shinichi Tsukachima, who seems to have ignored pleas to leave and all common sense about the radiation filling this place. There aren't many goods available, he says. There aren't many shops that are open. There are a lot of farmers in the area, though, so we have vegetables. This, he says, is his neighbor's farm. The cows have been left on their own. In the streets, dogs, left behind by their panicked owners, now roam aimlessly. How long will it last, this man says. More people will die, more bad things will happen. This is going to get tougher. Not far from here, the assault to save the Fukushima reactors is in full gear. The power company has put up a help wanted sign for what could be the most dangerous job on earth. $5,000 a day to be a frontline Geiger counter operator, checking areas for radiation ahead of cleanup workers. Today, officials are grappling with a steady leak of radioactive water while also now acknowledging that highly dangerous plutonium has been found in soil near the reactors. They say it could have only gotten here one way. As the result of finding plutonium and finding a high density of radiated water, it's clear that the fuel has melted, this official says. Whatever happens with the reactors, the toll is already mounting. Today, what they're calling the first Fukushima fallout victim, a farmer who lives inside the radiation zone and who said he couldn't take it anymore, he took his own life.